lifestyle lovers welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is erica my channel is called it's e lifestyle and it's all about creating a good lifestyle okay lifestyle lovers this is going to be a combination video it's going to be a combination of me using the commonary method of getting rid of some clothing items as well as me showing you guys some workwear. If you guys are wondering what the KonMari method is, it's a way of simplifying and organizing your home. I'm just simply going to apply it to clothes. And it was created by an organizing consultant by the name of Marie Kondo, and she wrote a best-selling book all about organizing. So the concept of the method is getting rid of things that don't make you happy. Originally, when I thought about the idea of creating this video, it was just going to be totally about the KonMari method of organizing my clothing items, specifically in this video, dresses. However, when I looked at all of my dresses, most of them I'm not going to get rid of, um, simply because I work for a corporation. Um, I dress business pretty much four to five days out of the week. And most of my dresses consist of my workwear. So I just felt like me uh, going that direction for the video probably was not going to make much sense knowing that most of the items that I would be keeping. Now, I will be honest, lifestyle lovers, most of the items that I'm going to show in the video are probably not in the stores. I have not shopped for workwear in over six months. And if they are in the stores, they're, pop, they're probably on clearance. But I will give you an idea of places that you can shop at, some of the places that I purchased the items from. And yeah, so yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and get started on the video. Okay, lifestyle lovers, here are all of the dresses out of my closet, with the exception of anything that may be in, you know, in the wash or um, my loungewear dresses. Most of them are folded up in the dresser drawer. So these are all of the dresses that came out of my closet. And as I explained, most of these dresses are workwear work attire. Okay, lifestyle lovers, this is one of my favorite dresses to wear to work. I purchased it from New York and Company. It has the balloon sleeves. It's not too tight with the collar, so it's very professional. You can wear it to a meeting and also look stylish in the process. So this is a perfect dress to wear to work. It's not too tight around the hip area. You can also add a belt to it if you just want to you know, add a little extra to it. Okay, lifestyle lovers, here is another black dress. But this is what not to wear to work. It, it's not too form-fitting, but of course, it is a V-neck cut dress that I purchased from Express. Perfect for happy hour, perfect for a dinner date, perfect for a night with the girls. Not appropriate for work. So, I mean, I love the dress. I don't have to go through the whole Comrie method of whether I'm going to get rid of it or not because I am going to keep it, but not perfect for work simply because it shows too much cleavage, too deep cut in the front, and um, yeah, we don't want to wear this to work unless we're looking for the wrong type of attention. Okay, guys, here's another one of my favorite professional dresses. I haven't worn it to work in a while, but this also came from New York and Company. But it reminds me of the Jackie Kennedy look. Like a look back in the day, it has the, uh, I don't know what you call this, but it's a skirt up under it. And then it goes over and with some new pumps, it looks so gorgeous. So this is definitely work appropriate, definitely church appropriate. Most of my work dresses are church appropriate. Um, but yeah, I just love this. It's so classy, perfect for work, perfect for the office. And so, yeah, I love it. I definitely will be keeping this, um, not getting rid of it. Love it. Okay. Lifestyle lovers. This is a jean dress. Definitely not appropriate for work. Even if I zip it up, um, you know, it's just not appropriate for work. Now, this is an item that's part of my dress collection that I would definitely 
want to use the Con Marie method to decide if I'm going to keep it. It came from Fashion Nova. And if you ever, ever ordered from Fashion Nova before, they have restocking fees. So depending on how much you pay for it, it's probably best just to keep it, make it work or give it away. So anything I've ever ordered from Fashion Nova that didn't work, I probably end up giving it away or making it work. The reason why I don't like this dress is because it is too tight around here. It's just, in my opinion, jeans are supposed to form fit you, not sub squeeze you in. It has the, um, the keyhole back, if you guys can see the back. So it's a sexy dress and I thought I would like it and I may like it if it were in a bigger size, but it's just too tight around here. So one of the Comari method is if you like something, regardless of what anybody else has to say about it, you should definitely keep it. Things that you may be on the fence about, how does it make you feel? Does this dress make me feel attractive? Does it, if I wore it out, will I be like, oh, child, yum the bomb? No, I don't think so. So I probably will be donating this i don't know anyone that would be able to fit it but like i said i like it if it was if it fit better it's just too tight around here i know if i go out wear it out i'm going to be uncomfortable so yeah this is out okay lifestyle lovers this is another favorite out of my dress collection it is you know one of my work dresses although I realized I have not worn in a while. It's a black dress with a red collar. It came from New York and Company. As I stated, I do a lot of shopping from New York and Company. And the last time I wore this, I paired it with this, um, is it the leopard print Michael Kors belt? And, um, you know, you could do some leopard print flats or, you know, just, I think I wore it with some red shoes. But this, perfect for work, very professional, um, not too tight around here. And at the same time, it does, you know, still show off your curves. So perfect for work. Love this. Definitely a keeper. Not getting rid of this. Okay, lifestyle lovers. Looks like it has a stain on it. But this is an all-white dress that I purchased a few years ago. For an all white party and this is one of the items that i was looking at like why do you still have that it came from bb and it was so many years ago i have not been to an all white party and i can't remember how long so i knew in my mind that okay yeah eric it's time for you to get rid of this until i tried it on boo so i like oh it has the, whatever you call these sleeves. Of course, it's not work appropriate. It's too short and looks a little bit too sexy. But I had it in my mind that I was going to get rid of this. But I like this lifestyle lovers. So I think I could use this. And also, I'm going on a cruise the first of the year. So you know how they have like the all white events on the cruise. I'm loving this again. And I, I have not had this dress on in years. It's been in my closet. I knew it was out of there, but I think I'm going to keep it. What y'all think? It's one of us, these old BB dresses. I don't really care for the tie in the back, but um, I like this lifestyle lovers. So I think I'm going to hold on to it, at least until the cruise, So, Okay, lifestyle lovers. Here's another dress that I'm on the fence about. It's um, made by BCBG. Of course, it, it's not work appropriate. And I noticed it still has the tag on it. I purchased it from Dillard's. It actually still has the proof of purchase on it, but I've had it for a couple of years. I don't like it. I'm looking at it. How does it make me feel? Shows my kangaroo pouch. If I wore it, I would definitely have to have some undergarments on it. I mean, I'm trying to think, why did I buy this? The color is beautiful. I love the color. I love the green. Um, makes my butt look good. But 
I think I'm I'm gonna have to get rid of this. I'm gonna have to donate it or whatever because it doesn't make me feel good. It doesn't make me feel sexy. All I folk when I look in the mirror, only thing that I'm seeing is this. Um so yeah. This is not one of those things that I would love regardless of what anybody else says. I just, I don't know why I bought this in the first place. So this is out. Okay, guys, here's another dress in my dress collection that I'm definitely getting rid of. It makes me feel like a balloon. It's too tight in the sleeves. I wore it once um, to Amazing Frankie Beverly concert. And I purchased it from, um, if anybody's heard of Sweeney Style, she has a style blog and she's on IG and she sells, you know, some items. So I purchased it from her. Um, she looks great in it. I seen her in it. That's what made me order it. I love her style. But I don't like it. I didn't care for it too much when I first wore it. I just thought it made me look fat or bigger than what I am. Um, it's just, as you can see, it's kind of constraint in the arms. It's really, really tight around the arms and it's just uncomfortable. So doesn't make me feel good. Doesn't make me feel pretty. So this is another dress that is out. Okay, lifestyle lovers, here's another dress out of my dress collection. It is a Miss Moschino sweater dress that I brought a few seasons ago. I'm still loving it. I haven't worn it in a while, but of course, when I try it on, I'm like, okay, I got to make sure I get a wear out of this this fall winter season. Um, although it's not form fitting and it's not too short, I don't think it's appropriate for work simply because it has Moschino written across all over the dress and to me that's just simply unprofessional you don't want to have any labels written across your clothes whether it's a t-shirt or anything you know labels are fine for work but they need to be in the tag if it's printed across or any even not just labels any graphic tees any sayings or anything like that um is inappropriate for work so I love this, this thing, it's not going anywhere. I love how I look in it, it still fits. Hey, lifestyle lovers, here is another dress that I absolutely love. It has the flannel print. I purchased it from Zara's uh, maybe a year or so ago and I just tried it on. This is another dress that I gotta make sure that I get aware out of this fall and winter season. It has the detailed collar with the embellishments on the collar if you guys can see but i am loving this dress once again it's not work appropriate and the reason why i say that is because i can barely bend over without showing much and it it look it's it's it has the high low look so it's a little high in the front and um, i just don't think i could properly bend over at work so yeah i probably wouldn't wear this to work um it just doesn't you know it's a nice casual dress but i don't think it's work work appropriate it's a little too casual for work but yes i'm loving this is definitely staying okay lifestyle lovers <laughs> you remember i told you one of the concepts of the comary method is if you had an item that you would keep regardless of what anybody thinks as long as you like it for yourself then this dress is it we know it ain't appropriate for work but i purchased this dress when i went to cabo on vacation um so i wore it in cabo i wore it to go to an outside mary j blodge concert here um in my city and i purchased it from bb so I've had it for about two or three years, but I am still loving it two or three years later. And I will be going on a cruise sometime next year and I will be packing this. Whether I wear it or not, I will be packing this. I think I look so, so good in this dress. And I don't care what nobody thinks. 
So yes. So if you have an item that regardless of what anybody thinks, you feel like you look good, keep it. If you have an item that brings back memories, which this also brings back memories from my Cabo vacation, keep it. So yeah, honey, I'm going to hang her back up because she won't be going nowhere. I don't know if you can see the details in it, but it, it is a pleated dress. Um, it has flowers at the bottom. Let me kind of come back. It has two splits in it. And then the back, I have my bra on, but, you know, the back is opened up. And then it has the, uh, what do you call this? The sheer right here. So you can do it without a, without a bra. But yes, I love this dress, guys. Yep. Going with the wind, fabulous. Okay, lifestyle lovers. Here's another one of my favorite dresses to wear to work. It has the lacing detail. I love this color green. Um, this was purchased from New York and Company. Very professional. Um, it comes up here. It's not too tight. Um, I feel beautiful when I put on this dress. Um, I definitely love it. Definitely going to keep it. I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. As I stated, my top places that I shop for work clothes are New York and Company. As you can see, a lot of the items in this video came from New York and Company Express as well. That's a great place to shop at for work. I have not shopped at Express for work in a while. Reason being, um, it can get kind of pricey, you know, just depending on the type of work you do. If you're interacting with customers and clients all day, Express may be the better choice. But for me, sitting around, at a desk all day in a hundred dollar suit just didn't make much sense so i don't pretty much shop at express for work unless you know i have a coupon or you know catch something on a really great sale or clearance jc pennies is also a great place to shop for work as well make sure you comment below let me know what was your favorite dress in the video i really want to know so let me know if you enjoyed the video because i had planned to do a skirt and shirt edition of the same type of video and a pants and shirt edition. So if you love this video, then make sure you comment below. Be sure to thumbs up and then I'll do another one in the future. And I thank you for coming back for another video, Lifestyle Lovers. And I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.